respected senior members in this august audience dear friends and colleagues greetings of the day at the outset i would like to put on record my sincere thanks to office bearers of endo urology academy to have given me this opportunity i will be discussing with you how to make an excess into a non dilated system fully occupied by a complex stone this is the true representation what we are going to discuss i have no conflict of interest and situations like this are not very rare not very uncommon when the kidney the poor kidney is really burdened with the stones all around and there is hardly any space to make an entry inside so how to deal with this situation and it is a really complex situation there will be so many problems which can come across like there may be difficulty in placing the guide wire the guide wire may again and again go out of the pelvic elision system there will be difficulty in dilatation of the tract there will be placement of implant sheath will be a little strange and in a different way and the stone fragmentation has to be carried out very rapidly all these points we are going to discuss one by one problem 1 it is not unusual to encounter difficulty in placement of guide wire when your needle is coming right in the middle of this stone and if you pass stone a guide wire it will just hit the stone it will not go through the stone or here or there in the pelvic elision system so what is the remedy and this is the first frustrating situation which can occur the remedy will be you want to cre create some space between the pelvic elision system and the stone so that you can guide wire can go and slide inside the pelvic elision system so you have to tell your assistant to go on filling this system through the ureteric catheter so that there is a space created between the stone and the pelvic elision system at the same time don't hit at the center of the stone keep the needle hitting the stone but just tilt the needle hub downwards and then try to pass the guide wire with the needle hub down the needle bevel going upwards so that the guide wire may slide over the back of the stone and may go inside this trick has helped me many times and i am able to place the guide wire easily by tilting the hub little downward filling the system and then trying to pass the guide wire the next problem will come the guide wire again and again does not go into the pelvic elision system it touches the stone we are confident about it but it goes out of the system somewhere what to do in this situation don't lose your heart do one thing these are the steps to manage this first of all you should be very sure that your needle has reached up to the stone your guide wire is touching the stone and then it has gone out of the system so you should feel the stone with the gritty feeling of the needle again and again positioning the cm in 0 degree 30 degree you should be sure that the needle is touching the stone there may be a drop of fluid or aspirate which has come out it may not be a free flow but that gives you a feeling that you are at the pelvic elision system and touching the stone once you are sure then you try to pass the guide wire anywhere it may go anywhere but it should first touch the stone and then it can go anywhere so you should make a 10 french track up to the stone or you can pass the elkan cannula which is about 10 to 12 french now through this elkan cannula or through a 10 french track you can pass a minimally invasive pcnl excess 7.5 french sheet or you can pass a nephroscope if you have 6 to 8 french or if you don't have any of these you could pass ureteroscope through the elkan cannula and visualize through the implant sheet use irrigation with little pressure use you should identify the stone to this and then try to pass the glide guide wire under vision and try to pass the guide wire beyond the stone into the pelvic elision system once you are sure you have seen with this particular nephroscope or ureteroscope 
then you can guide wire has been repositioned and now you can position the guide rod and do the telescopic dilatation and reach up to the stone. So this step also can be overcome. Now coming to the dilatation of the track, there are so many types of dilators are available, step dilators, telescopic dilators, single stage dilator, balloon, screw, metal, many of us are using in the beginning we were using the step and serial dilator and the biggest disadvantage of these dilators was they have a conical tip, I will come to this. Our choice in such situation is to use Teflon telescopic dilators or metal alkan telescopic dilators because these telescopic dilators they dilate right up to the tip, maybe just 1 to 2 millimeter or 3 millimeter behind the tip, up to this level they dilate the track and reach up to this. Take the situation of this stone, if you are using a step dilator, you will di dilate up to this, the tip of your dilator will come in contact with the stone and the most maximum dilatation will be achieved 1 centimeter behind this, not up to the stone. So when you pass the amplard sheath, it will stop because step dilatation has been done only up to this level, this portion of the renal parenchyma will be in between and it will continue to bleed. If you try to push the dilator more inside, you cannot break the stone, you will break the kidney and the bleeding will start. So don't use step dilators, screw dilators, balloon dilators which have 1 centimeter dip to go inside the dilated system. You should use alkan dilators or the uh, telescopic dilators which dilate right up to the tip as you can see. You should not dilate with these dilators, you should use the step dilator, sorry telescopic dilators to reach up to the stone, the dilatation should be achieved up to the stone only. Once you have achieved the dilatation, now how to put the amplard sheath? We know these are the two ends of the amplard sheath, one is a straight end one is the beveled end. If you try to pass the beveled end, this end as we usually do in all APCNLs, this portion will come into the stone and this much portion will be hanging outside. So in these situations where the stone is completely filling the pelvic elicial system, you should pass the straight end inside like this and dilate up to the stone and pass the amplard sheath straight and right up to this and then once you reach like this, there will be tamponade all around, amplard sheath will be right up to the stone and you can start breaking the stone and removing the stone. So in such situation, you should put the amplard sheath in reverse way to get, to get a good control and a good tamponade effect. Now what should fragmentation should be done? You should use a fragmentation device which breaks the stone and at the same time you should be able to remove the fragments so that there is a good space created and you can push your amplard sheath inside. See this is when the amplard sheath is still in the renal parenchyma, I could not gain entry up to the stone, now I am using the pneumatic lithoclast standing in the renal parenchyma with a good irrigation so that all these fragments also they come out either by picking up or with the help of a irrigation, when they are coming out, the space is getting created, stone is being brought out and then only when the space gets created, you can push your amplard sheath through the renal parenchyma to gain entry into the pelvic elicial system. So this is how you should able, you should be able to manage a stone which is completely filling the system and there is no dilatation, dilated space available to gain entry. So these were the tips and tricks which I wanted to share with you for these situations and I extend my sincere thanks and regards to you for your kind attention and a patient listening. I want to extend my welcome to you on October 1st and 2nd, 2022 at New Delhi, India to participate in Percon 2022 which is the world's biggest conference on PCNL devoted only to PCNL and this is going to be our ninth international live operative workshop 
where we will be talking and discussing about PCNL for two days. Thank you very much for listening to me and I extend welcome to you to come to India. Thank you.